Welcome back, it's Terence and your boy Seek. For today's video, we thought, let's do some baking. Mm. But not big ones, it's not time, it's not time. Regular. Now we were scrolling and trolling through Instagram, and I come across a beautiful picture. Was it a picture, video? A picture isn't it? it was a picture and a video. So maybe I'm going to throw that picture up. If not, I'm just going to tell you. Let me throw it. Ah, you did it. Some lovely little cookies. Not they're just cookies. Not I know, but they're exciting. They look like little kittens. But not just kittens. Our favourite kind of kittens. Calico kittens. And we do love calico kittens. And we do love cookies. And we do love to bake. Let's put it all together and get your banging bunny up. Let's go. Right, to begin, you want to take 170 grams of butter and you're going to put it in a bowl. Just like so. Next, you're going to add 75 grams of caster sugar. Put it in the same damn bowl. And you're going to want to mix it till it's nice and light and creamy and fluffy. It's called creaming the butter and Just sugar. like this. It should look something like this. That's how you know it's perfect. Next, we're going to add 250 grams of plain flour. You can add it bit by bit, but we add it with it all in one go here. Now also would be a great time to add any flavourings. For example, you can have some almond or vanilla. I recommend vanilla. You want to mix this till you form a nice ball in the bowl. Should look a little something like this. You're going to want to tip it out. You know, you can flour your surface, but we figured this was just right. Now, as you can see, we're going to cut it into two, because we're going to change the colourings and the flavours. That's right. We're going to put this one to the side as we're going to need white later on. But this ball right here, we're going to cut into two again. Look at that clean cut. Again, we like to shape them into balls, you know. It's, good, it's a good practice to gain to. Now we're going to remove one of these. We can use that one later. But for this one, we're going to flat it out and add a little bit of colouring. We've got an orange, so some orange food colouring because we're making calico yes, cookies. Yes, calicos have got their orange colouring. Here's what it looks like. This was a gel based. Now you want to add just enough, you know, you really want that orange colour and the fabric see to really pop that way when you cook it and it dulls down the colour. That is not too dull that you don't get the orange. Look at him squeeze that colour, oh yeah. Now we're going to knead this in until the colour is very consistent across all of the dough. This might take a while. And here's how that colour should look. Let's get in focus. Looks oh, like a yes. tangerine. Beautiful vibrancy. And then you go straight into the next dough. And this one, the colour with some cocoa powder. Not only will this give you the brown, but it give you a nice sweet chocolate flavour as well. This was a very rich flavour. Very tasty. Mm. So again, we flatten it out. We put about a teaspoon in, you know. You can add any amount, depends on how chocolatey you want it. And just like before, we're going to end up kneading that in until you get one nice consistent colour. I did make a mess. And here's how that looks. Let's get it in focus. Oh yeah. It looks like a butthole. Dirty boy. Now these are your two doughs. And let's not forget you have your white one too. Now how do we turn these into calico cookies? Let's show you. You're going to need some baking paper. We do not want that to stick. Hell no. Now we grabbed a little piece and just placed them around. You, you, there's no real pattern to it, just random. Mm. You'll see you can that. start with any colour. We started with the wipes. Because we had quite a bit more in a while. We want to ball them up and just put them all over the gaff. It doesn't matter where. Just, just have fun with it. And you repeat for the chocolate. This chocolate one was a bit thicker than the rest of it because of the cocoa powder. Really want to fill in the gaps, you know, so the colours blend well together when you roll it later. The final is the orange. Same again, little balls firm around, fill in the gaps. 
really get the colors spread out on the big piece there. Mm. Here's how that should look. What you want to do next is get another sheet of baking paper and lay it on top. We're going to get the rolling pin, roll it out so we get a nice even thickness and those colours should start to stick together. Make it one nice solid dough. Now when you finish rolling, the dough should look a little something like this. Now is the time for the cookie cutters. We've got this angry cat over here. Take a look at him. We have our little chubby cat. This is my personal favorite. And the third one is my favorite. Look at this cute little bastard. Long ass cat. Oh yeah. From there, you just get cutting, you know. Just have fun with it, try not to waste any dough to be fair. And once you've cut and removed the excess dough from around those cuttings, it should look a little something like this. Now we're going to chill these for a bit to keep their shape when they cook. And then you whack them in the oven for 25 minutes. Time for the reveal. Ready? Are we ready at home? Bro, bro. <laughs> right, let's show them a... Uh... This, one, three types of cats. this one's my favourite, he's a little tubby boy. Look at focus, yeah. how'd you feel? Yeah, I've seen that focus. He's a little puppy boy, I do like I'm gonna show you this one. This one reminds me of the clocks you might get in a kitchen. You know, in the cartoons, like Simpsons. The little eyes tick side to side with the teeth. And the final one, a little inquisitive boy. And the arch back here. Yeah. I feel like he's a rooper. You know what, is it Happy Cat and an Angry Cat? Yeah, 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 the, in primary school. Thing. He got an Angry Cat post, but I can tell you that. Is that an angry? He's, he's... Which one is that? The Angry is the arch. Yeah, well. uh, we're gonna give them a munch here, yeah? let you know what they're saying. Boy, they're so cute. Why is there no munch? Look at his little ears. He's got little brown bits on the ears. Mm -hmm. The chocolate punch is still. I like those teeth, nice. It doesn't like chocolate. I'm doing a little dunk in my teeth. Mm. You don't like tea, but that's good. I'll have a little more stuff. You guys want to make your own cookies, you know? We've just shown you. Just shown you how. But you've got to buy your own cookie cutters, yeah? You can't use mine. Unless you know where I live. What's going on around here? That's a good business opportunity. You can work something yeah, yeah. out. We hope you enjoyed this video. Just we, as much as we did. We hope we you like. enjoy your own calico cat cookies. We see you. Yeah. Next one.